weapons and ammunition have a single purpose, to kill. Efficiently, indiscriminately. They cannot distinguish friend from foe. You can. The equipment of war is designed for total effectiveness under the most exacting operational conditions. Destruction and death under your control. Efficient training enables this equipment to be used to fullest advantage to kill the enemy. With such training, the use of highly complex weapons and ammunition becomes second nature, an entirely familiar experience. A puff of smoke, a projectile on target, harmless enough from a distance, not so close to. If a round fails to explode, it is not a dud, it is a blind. A blind must be reported to range control. Bravo point reporting, one blind, 84 heat round, grid to follow. It must be located yep. and destroyed. It's been fired and the fuse is fully armed. The slightest knock could set it off. It's in a state to kill. For your protection, numerous safety devices are built into all types of ammunition. They ensure it is safe to store, to transport, to handle, and to load. But the action of firing overrides all protection devices, and the projectile becomes an efficient killer. There are many different ways such killing ability is achieved, but all are lethal. The 81mm mortar bomb will break into 4,000 splinters of flying steel on detonation. Each splinter flying at 4,500 feet per second. Anyone within 40 meters from the impact is virtually certain to be hit. Even at 130 meters they'd be lucky to escape. And not that many are born lucky. Designed to render inoperative. In short, to kill. So, any blind round from any type of weapon, unless destroyed, remains a killer. A potent death trap which could claim its victims years later. Oh, Bobby, I, I really don't know. I'm sorry, love. I... Bobby, why don't you go and find some cowboys and Indians or something, eh? Yeah, yeah, go on. But take care. Don't go too far. We don't want you getting lost. Take your sandwiches with you. Why do we always get stuck with your little brother? But I told you I promised him to pick me up. I'm sure I told you last week about Nobody it. Nobody told me anything. Look, he'd have been disappointed if I had And been. accidents yeah. happen. Accidents that a little care or common sense could prevent. Accidents that often cause serious injury, sometimes death. The Royal Army Ordnance Corps investigates all accidents involving ammunition and explosives, and their accident records tell a dismal tale of carelessness, improvisation, bravado, criminal negligence, and incredible stupidity. Stupidity by fully trained men, men who ignore the rules. Regulations state that thunder flashes prepared for throwing, but not used, are not to be returned to store, but destroyed. The best method is by throwing on the training area. Opened, the contents is merely a small heap of grey powder. Wonder if it will light? Stupid. 
obvious? Perhaps now. Yet someone actually tried it and nearly lost his eyesight. To say nothing of severely burned face and hands. Never tamper with ammunition or explosives. It's flirting with death. This battle simulator fixed to a stake and fired electrically will give a safe imitation in sound and vision of an anti-tank gun firing. An explosive, certainly, but not designed to kill, only to add realism to a field exercise. Yet, believe it or not, Someone tried to improve on this by ramming a simulator into the venturi of a wombat anti-tank gun and connecting it to the firing mechanism. Far-fetched, do you think? It couldn't happen to you? Don't be too sure. When initiated in these confined conditions, instant death. An efficient soldier does not deviate from the safety regulations and procedures laid down for the weapons and ammunition he is using. Should a 76 mm round jab in the breech mechanism of a gun, it is dealt with by using a special key. A key so designed that the primer can be removed without the sensitive cap being struck. But some people do it a different way. Lost the key, perhaps, or maybe absent-minded. Makes no difference when you're dead. With live ammunition, using the wrong tool is lunacy. One slip onto the primer cap will fire the round, and with a breech open. The killing ability of ammunition should be directed at the enemy, not at you or anybody else for that matter. Small arms are involved in more accidents than any other type of weapon. In training, there's only one way to point a gun, down the range of the target area. Just one moment of thoughtlessness and oblivion. Stop, we've got a stoppage. Stop! Water butts or bodies. Medic! It's all one to a bullet. It's OK. It's not loaded. The preface to many a burial party. I didn't think there was one at the spout. <laughs> Said many times with bitter regret, cannot restore a life. Special rules govern all eventualities connected with ammunition. Ignore them at your peril. Observe them, and you prevent tragedy. There are no shortcuts to safety. Okay, in spite of all the care taken in the design and production of weapons and ammunition, and in spite of intensive instruction in their safe use, accidents are all too common. Missfire. Unload a misfire. Unload a misfire. Come on, get that firing pin out. Too far down, we'll have to dig it out. Give us that extractor. 
but the manual says to hell with a manual. Familiarity breeds contempt, they say. But would you do this? Someone did. He did not live to regret it. Hey, what time is it? Hmm? It's getting late. Bobby's been gone over an hour. Is he? Bobby! Bobby! I don't like this. Bobby! Bobby! I'm going to go and look for him. OK. Bobby! 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 the weapons of war become more sophisticated, so the soldier has an even higher degree of responsibility. Whatever your trade, you are bound at some time to handle weapons and ammunition which are designed to kill. Kill the enemy. Safety regulations and drills are designed to prevent them killing you. It is only common sense to observe these regulations and drills. Not to is both foolish and dangerous.